Hello everyone. In the previous video, we created our rectangle class as a derived class rather than a independent class. In this video, what we're going to do is that we're going to begin our triangle class and we're going to begin just by defining the header file. So why don't we do that now? We're going to have a header file and it's going to be named my triangle.h so now this is added here and triangle is going to be similar to rectangle and where it inherits from the shape 2d class so first we are going to include our standard library then we are going to include my shape 2d.h and we will define our class here similar to how we did with my rectangle so we will say again that rectangle is a derived class that inherits from shape 2d and i'll have the same type of inheritance so we'll have triangle and we'll go about that here i'll say class triangle it's going to do a public inheritance from shape 2d and we will begin the definition of our private data so with the private data it's going to be exactly the same as with my rectangle here there isn't going to be that much difference in attributes because well with attributes they're going to be the same now you could think of augmenting shape 2d with these two attributes and that's fine we wouldn't have to declare anything new and actually that's recommended but for this example i don't want to do that i want to show that you know with the triangle class being a specific implementation you can add attributes right to augment what's going on with shape 2d so here we're adding these two attributes as we did with my rectangle and that'll be all that will be all that is contained within the private data so now we have public and we are going to define our three constructors we're going to have a default unparameterized constructor we are going to have a parameterized default constructor and we are going to have a copy constructor try oops triangle triangle okay now it's all defined okay yeah and we're gonna have a const triangle and I'm going to say try right so here we're going to be defining the the three constructors that will be associated with our class we will also define our two getters similarly to how we did it with our rectangle class. So we're going to have area and perimeter. Oops, sorry, this should be getters. So get perimeter const. And then here I'll have this as get area. Right, so now we have our getters for these attributes. And let's define that here and well now let's think about something let's let's change this class up a bit so in rectangle one problem with the class is that when it goes about the implementation any time that we use set length and set width we'd have to update the area and perimeter for the class that's there right in each and every case in the constructor in the three constructors that we have right and the um, equals operator and the plus operator so it looks like our class can benefit from merging these two statements of updating area and perimeter within set length and set width right so why don't we do this in shape 2d why don't we make these setters virtual as well so that way now 
when we are calling these setters and if there's variables dependent on them, i.e. area and perimeter, now we can set these setters, we can update these setters to reflect that. So now what I can do is that I can declare these setters again and I will say updated inherited setters and this will be void set length we'll give it its input void set width we'll give it the input and then we will continue with our uh, overriding operators and more specifically unlike rectangle.h where we don't update or override the area and perimeter methods here we will because when we're calculating the area of a triangle it is going to be different from the area of a rectangle and it's a good thing we made those methods virtual so that way now we can override it and something that you may see out there is that you, you may see something like this and you may see the override keyword and it's one of the newer keywords well it's not exactly new but it's a newer keyword where here we are explicit in the override and here this is implicit with the override Right, and same thing here. Um, actually, let us let me change that so we can put that here. Right here, when we are overriding the area method from what, what shape 2D was, this is an implicit override. Here with the override keyword, this is an explicit override. Right, so that's kind of the difference. Um, it's okay not to have this. And it's okay to have this. Uh, you will see both out there in the wild. So lastly, what do we go about declaring our override operators? So here I'm going to have operator equals. And let's do that. Const triangle try. Triangle. I want to return a copy of it. Operator plus const triangle and try lastly we'll have our friend meth functions okay so here's all our declarations for our triangle class and what's important here is that now I'm going to override the setters that have been inherited from shape 2d and as well I'm going to override the area and perimeter so while we're back to the same number of methods as we were creating it creating this independently in terms of getters, we still shave off some stuff. I don't have, I have two less attributes and two less getters if this was an independent class. And I mean, this, this does some of the, the shape 2D does some of the work for me. I'm just going to add on to it and upgrade it more. So now for this video, we are going to continue, but we are just going to implement the three constructors. So I'm going to call this triangle.cpp and we will begin editing. So we start by including my triangle.h. I'm also going to include the CMath library because when I go about calculating the perimeter, I'm going to need to use the square root function. But that'll be for the next video. So first we'll start with the unparameterized default constructor. And I will say triangle triangle. And we will do colon shape 2d. Okay, so this will set up we'll call the shape 2d constructor which will be this up here and we'll set these two to one so because those two are getting set to one 
what I'll need to do here is I'll say area is equal to area and perimeter is going to be equal to perimeter and that should be it for the default constructor so now let's move on to the parameterized default constructor so double length and double width so we'll do this shape 2d actually we won't do anything well first first let's keep this up and once we write once we overload the set methods in this class we'll come back to edit this so I'll mark that here to do um, update after defining setters so this will call the set parameters here and we'll need to copy this and paste here so I know we're doing the thing that I wanted to overload the setters so that we wouldn't have to do but once we define the setters this will make sense because we'll just call the setters for the triangle class here and then through there we will call the setters for here but until we get there we will have to use what we have and now we'll have our const triangle and we'll get a reference to try and then we'll we'll do the same thing so the idea here is that we have a try get length and try get width right so I'll copy this because we'll need to update it and we'll go about the definition in the next video so I will see you then